Anthony goes out there, delivers the furniture, does his job, and gets out. You don't see him acting all gaga. How y'all doing? I know you're thinking, there's something different about Anthony today, but I just can't quite put my finger on it. Anthony, did you take that armoire out to the Tates? I certainly did. Isn't that Shelby Tate's hat? It certainly is. He says to me this morning, uh, tell me, Anthony, do you like watermelon? And so I'm thinking, this is not a good question. I mean, I'm talking to a guy who has got four lawn jockeys on his front porch, and he's asking me if I like watermelon. And suddenly, I see a truckload of watermelon in my future. So I say, uh, no, Mr. Tate, I don't much care for watermelon, but I could use a new pair of tap shoes. Well, that cracks him up. So he takes this hat right off his head and puts it on mine. Dude has got a big head, too. Well, that was Reese. Just for your information, it is a federal offense to falsely represent yourself to any government agency punishable by fines and or imprisonment. <gasps> Don't you worry, I'll pay your fine. Are we also gonna go to jail for him? Oh, he's not gonna go to jail because he's not gonna get caught. Let's keep that arm down. Oh, now this does not look good. What do you mean? This looks great. I wore this in Oz Mrs. Zaya Festival. Uh, this makes me look like Jane Wyman. Oh. It does not. Well, what do you think, Julia? I think you look like little Lulu. I also think that of all the stupid, asinine things you two have done in your time, this ranks right up there at the very, very top. Amen. Uh-uh, Julia, $1,500, that can help me pay off my student loan. Anthony, what are you thinking about? What if you get caught? $1,600. Don't listen to her. <laughs> Suzanne, there are a couple of things here that could give us a little trouble. Like what? Well, it, it, it says here that Cosmera is 15 years older than me. Oh, big deal. Everybody ages differently, doesn't mean a thing. You look at that, what's his name, that Dick Clark. He's about 105 years old, looks like a kid. Y'all think Dick Clark's had a facelift? Julia? I don't know, Charlie. I think that Hugh Downs has had some bags or something taken out in front of his eyes. Have y'all noticed that? Uh, Suzanne, it also says here that Consuela is Latino and I'm black. So? Big deal. Latinas come in all shapes, so you're a little bit darker. Maybe you've been ill. As long as you're talking about differences, how about Consuela's never had jock itch? Oh, my gosh. What? Look who just walked in. Who, who is it? It is Dr. Burton. I told you about him. Oh, he's that, that, that guy that turns you into Jerry Lewis. That's right, and I'm going to fail his class because he hates me. Hello. <clears throat> You are in my first year liability class. <laughs> yes, sir. <coughs> yes, sir. <laughs> that, that's very good. That's very good. Now, not that you need me to tell you that. I mean, because after all, I, you don't need a compliment from me. I, I'm nobody. I, I, I'm actually somebody. I, I, I'm Mr. Bouvier. But you can call me anything you want. Thank you, Mr. Bouvier. You appear to possess an uncanny and hitherto unprecedented ability to grasp onto conversational nothings, form them into a rope, and choke yourself to death. Uh, tell me, um, what do you think of the Macpherson versus Stoller decision? Uh huh. Well, uh, 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 Macpherson mm. versus Stoller. Well, now, oh, oh, I, I know I got. Don't tell me, see, uh. The case of the dangling Doberman. Oh, that's very good. Perhaps you should replace Mr. Bouvier in my class. Hmm? Well, would you please introduce me to your lady friend? Um, or perhaps she's your wife? Oh, uh, no, no, this, this is Miss Colleen Dabba. Oh. She's a friend of mine, and she's an undergraduate here. She also works at the decorating firm where I, I'm a partner. Mm -hmm. Hold on to your day job, Mr. Bouvier. <laughs> How do you do, Miss Dabba? Hey. <laughs> well, good luck with the examinations, and uh, don't forget, Ignorantia, legis, non excusat. <laughs> <laughs> what, what does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> it means ignorance of the law is no excuse. It's um, my little joke. Oh, well, that is funny. <laughs> Corpus Christi. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I do hope to be seeing you again, Miss Dopper. Perhaps Mr. Bouvier could bring you to my class. Uh, you, uh, I believe you might find it stimulating. <laughs> well, now I just don't know why you think he's so scary. He seemed pretty friendly to me. Well, now, this is strange. This is very strange. He would not have come over here to talk to me. He wanted to talk to you. Me? <laughs> why? He likes you, Carlene. No, he likes you. Now, this is good. This is very good. I will have a connection after all. Uh, Anthony, what are you saying? I'm saying, put on your red dress, baby, because you're going out sometime soon. Anthony, do you have a minute to talk? Now, Julia, I know what you're going to say. I've been teasing Suzanne too much. Come on, now, i got to give her a little grief about this. That isn't it. I, I know that this club means an awful lot to Suzanne for some ridiculous reason. So as soon as I finish teasing her to death, I'm going to help her get in. I'll sponsor her myself. That's very kind of you, Anthony. You're a thoughtful person. As a matter of fact, you're far superior to anyone I've met at the Beaumont Club. <sighs> what do you want to tell me? This morning, I made a call to a friend of mine. It seems the Beaumont Club is making a bid to be a stop on the PGA Tour. They can't be a stop on the PGA Tour if they remain an all-white club. So what are you saying? I'm saying they only want you because you're black. <laughs> no! You knew. Oh, Julia, come on. I did not just fall off the turnip truck. I know these people just want me because of my ancestry. So what? How you think those other people got in there? Good looks? I don't think so. Doesn't it bother you? Oh, no, Julia. I know the score. In fact, I am miles ahead of these people. See, now they figure they'll give me an honorary membership and get me on their rolls, and then they'll just conveniently forget to invite me to any and all club functions until I just fade away. Is that what you were going to tell me? Approximately. Yeah, well, that may be what they're planning, but it's not what I'm planning. You want to hear my plan? I'm going to every party. I'm going to every dance, every barbecue. And every time a group picture is taken, I'm going to be sitting there on the front row going, cheese. I think you're too good for them. Oh, Julia, the first integrationists got death threats. They were spit on. You think I can't take the cold shoulder at a country club? I don't mind. It's a small price to pay. And besides, I get a little piece of black history for myself. So what do you think now? Now I know you're too good for him. Oh. <laughs> hmm. So what do we do now? Hmm? Have a drink, no hors d'oeuvre, mingle. Oh, mingling, my favorite. The trouble is, all these people are such snobs. They won't speak to anybody they don't already know. Hello there. Well, good evening. Lovely party, isn't it? Can you move my car? It's the silver blue Porsche. <laughs> Why, surely. Oh, look, the house key's on here. Thanks. No, thank you. <laughs> What's that? Ooh, white bread and cream cheese. Mmm, yum. I just can't get enough of this stuff. Mmm. Mm. Thank you. You're welcome. Mm. Boy, this party is really boring. Julia, you came. Hi. Mm -hmm. I'm Mr. Bouvier's guest tonight. Suzanne, Bitty Sissy Muffy Tuffy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just so nice seeing all of you. You know, it's so difficult to break into a new set. But I must say, everyone here has made me feel so at home. I just feel like I've been here forever. It's nice to see you, too. Well, thank you. That is a lovely dress you're wearing, Adolfo. Well, no. Well, it is absolutely stunning. Excuse me, but haven't we met? No, no, I don't think so. That Stuart Crimmins. You've probably seen his face in the paper. You know, that insider trading thing. Oh, yes. Terrible scrape, that. Not to impose, but I do happen to have a couple of friends on the parole board. I could put in a word for you. <laughs> could you? Consider it done. Could you all move in a little closer, please? Pictures? Oh, no, no, I, I don't think so. It's for the Atlanta Journal. Well, if we must. <laughs> all right. One, two, three.
Thank you. I'd like a couple of copies of that, please. Yes, I'd like to have one, too. Thank you. Well, Suzanne, would you care to dance? Suzanne. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. <laughs> Pardon me, would you care to dance? Why, yes, I'd be delighted. Hold this. <laughs> Looks to me like you blew it, Suzanne. Cheers. The Yankees is coming! The Yankees is coming! Oh, heavens! The Yankees! How do I look? They at the heads, folks! They at the heads, folks! Oh, oh! How can this be? Yankees? I didn't even know we had a hedge post! What is a hedge post? I'm scared. I'm scared, I tell you. Who will protect us now? Who? 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 They at the barn! They at the, the barn! Red, they at the barn! How do you know? How do you know? There's something, Red! Oh, they're coming up the steps! They're coming up the stairs! Thinking. Day's here. Whoa, look at the time. I forgot all about my poker game. Damn this gambling habit. I'll be back. All the men are gone. Who is going to save us now? Miss Scotty, it's been fine working for you. Don't worry about me. I'm going to catch a bus. Ho, ho, ho. Look you there, a little helper in that beautiful tree. It sure is, Seven. <laughs> That would look even better with a bicycle under it. Ooh. Well, let's get to work. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just hang on to me. I'll help the two of you out to your car. The uh, slave. Yeah. Uh, ho, ho, ho. I find that if you laugh, it makes the pain go away. Ho, 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 ho. Is that better? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. much better. Are you, are you really Santa Claus? Oh, oh, come on, Charlie. What are you talking about? Are you really Santa Claus? No kidding, man, are you? Anthony. Bonsoir. For you. For you. And for me. Anthony, what are you doing? Well, I figured you'd try to get me out of here as soon as possible, so I thought I'd better eat quickly. Oh, Anthony, you're silly. Put that thing away. <laughs> I don't know. Now that you're here, maybe this won't be so bad. They're cooking us a nice dinner right now, so you can stay. Are you sure? Of course. Just dinner with a friend, nothing more. <clears throat> Come on. You know, you dance pretty good. I, I mean, for a white girl. It's all those cotillion classes. I haven't really danced in ages, though. All these old men I go out with, they're always begging off, you know, always offering the same lame excuses. Well, like what? Like they're lame. <laughs> or they got arthritis, or they broke a hip, or their pacemaker's malfunctioning, you know, the usual. <laughs> Where'd you learn to dance so good? In prison. <laughs> See, Tommy Reed loved to dance. You haven't lived until you cha cha with a guy on death row. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I'm dancing with an ex-convict. Oh. Anthony, you really think I'm good? I mean, you know, for a white girl? Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> This evening sure didn't turn out like I thought. Didn't turn out like I thought either. 
was kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why I always have such a good time when I'm with you. I guess it's because, well, everybody else is always trying to change me, you know, make me act right. You're the only one who doesn't do that. Well, maybe that's because I know something they don't know. What's that? You're never going to act right. <laughs> well, it's sure nice to have one person who accepts me just the way I am. Anthony, you're my best friend. Thank you, Miss Daisy. <laughs> Yeah, I do know.